What's going on? We back with the boxing clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. We grinding. And uh, y'all know what the business is, man. Make sure y'all smash the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button so you won't miss another one of these heat videos, man. We're a live stream. Got a live stream coming up. Gonna try to squeeze two in a day. And, um, you know, apparently Floyd talked to Floyd Hype. And I'll link that interview into the description saying that, um, you know, he wanted to make Pacquiao and uh, Mikey Garcia. I assume next, you know, he said he wants to get on the horn and promote that fight. Say he was gonna get on the um, on the phone and call Pacquiao because he, you know, Pacquiao is a um, is a free agent and he wants to help Pacquiao out and promote his next fight and make the Mikey Garcia fight happen. I would assume that fight would be in Vegas. I know Mayweather Promotion does a lot of fights in Vegas with TGB Promotions. Also, I do a lot of fights in um in uh in, in uh Brooklyn or in New York. So um. It'd be interesting. It'd be interesting. Um, I think Mikey and Manny Pacquiao at this point. I think, I think with Mayweather behind, they could do good if they promote it the right way. And uh, you can see the whole promotional, um, the whole promotion being, you know, Pacquiao calling out Mayweather, or whatever. But um, honestly, do you see Pacquiao honestly, you know, working with somebody that some people thought was his equal in the ring or working under him? I guess if the money is right, but. Um, I think he got an ego too. I think his ego is too big to work under Mayweather promotions, but they could work in cohesion. You know, they could work, you know, with each other on this promotion, but you know, but if the money, right, the money, right, maybe Pacquiao does it though. But at the end of the day, you know, low key, he may be trying to undercut Earl Spence and probably tell Mikey that that ain't the way the route to go. Cause everybody even said that Shane Mosley said that, you know, some bravery, but it's a lot of some stupidity there with him doing that. So maybe they can get Mayweather to sway Mikey go go a different route. But Mikey seems headstrong and his mindset on fighting Earl Spence. And, you know, when you get somebody that's as smart as him um, with his mindset on fighting one guy, it's going to be hard to change Mikey's mind unless the, unless the money is so great that, um, you know, he wants you know he wants to do it. But Mikey said he really don't have no interest in fighting Pacquiao, you know. And why would you? You know, Pacquiao has been recycled, 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 recycled. He is a name, but... At this point, like golly, I know he got a big a big win. I mean, how do you? I mean, how do you? You know, how do you see? You know, it playing out if you if you Mikey as far as the money and the and the publicity. You know, would this make you a big pay per view star? Excuse me, probably not at this point, man. Probably not. Uh, it could if it's a good fight, and you know, it's Pacquiao still got a lot left in the tank. Seriously, does Pac? You know, would Pacquiao clip you and hurt you or whatever? Pacquiao so powerful and strong at one forty. But Mikey's a strong fighter as well, so it'll be a def definitely. I guess it would draw some interest. Um, definitely, it may do be better numbers than Earl Spence and, and uh, Mikey because Pacquiao still his name. But at the end of the day, what do you get? You know, you like the twenty seventh person to beat him. Well, also Terence Crawford want that fight as well because it kind of could be passing of the torch and passing of an audience to his favor. So Mikey can 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 do that as well, go that route as well. But um, yeah, Floyd. You know, I guess Floyd is trying to. Uh, I thought it was serious. I don't think he really was trying to son Manny Pacquiao. He would be undercutting not only Earl Spence and you know fight for Earl Spence. He'd be cutting undercutting Eddie Hearn, and he's already Eddie Hearn has already called Floyd about working with uh, Javante Tank Davis, and Floyd said, "No, nah, you know we're not gonna work with y'all and put Tank on it on on the zone. You crazy." And uh, also, Mikey's supposed to be meeting with Eddie sometime this week or sometime soon about going to the zone. And um, you know, Mayweather's trying to make Pacquiao and uh and Mikey. And low key, um, you know, Eddie's probably on the same tip. He's trying to get Pacquiao to fight Kell Brook or Amir Khan on his own. So, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. You know, uh obviously Pacquiao still work with Bob Aram as far as him distributing the t television deal to the United States for the Lucas Matisse fight. But uh, you know how Floyd is, man. You know, Floyd's trying to be this businessman and um you know, I guess it's time for Manny Pacquiao to meet the connect. And the connect is Al Heyman, you know what I'm saying? And bring him on over to Showtime. And, uh, you know, maybe, you know, Floyd going to do that. But I don't see Pacquiao, you know, doing that unless the money is super right. It's more, way more money than anybody else is offering him. And you're going to work with some guy, a guy that people thought was your equal. You know, people that the Boxing Writers Association of America named you fighter the decade over. But now you're coming back to eat out of his hand and eat out of his, out of his, out of his bowl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's funny, though. How life works and y'all was battling all these years and he was accusing you of, of juicing and all this other stuff. And can you come back and do business with him? But 
it's business. If the money is right, hey, you know what I'm saying? We don't really have no gripe. But um, but it'll be interesting to see if Floyd can, can sway Mikey Garcia from fighting Earl Spence, you know what I'm saying? And say and lay out a business plan for Mikey and uh, show him what the money look like and they can do a one-fight deal, you know, for Pacquiao and, uh, and Mikey Garcia. But at this point, um, I think that would be the smarter fight for Mikey. It's still riskier. He's at a, at a, a reasonable weight. He already fought at at 140. But honestly, I just, man, he did all that talking, man. Pacquiao ain't gonna move it for me. He gotta fight Earl, and uh, Floyd ain't gonna ain't gonna fuck this up. You know what I'm saying? He gonna go ahead and fight Earl, and uh, he gonna go ahead and, and show us what he thought he seen in Earl, and try to expose Earl's weaknesses. And I'm pretty sure he seen you know something in Earl that he can beat. No, it's time to see that. It's no time for people to try to uh, help Mikey Cop out of this situation, and not even Mayweather. I don't see Pacquiao bound down. Take a shit from Mayweather. I see him going back to Bobby Aram getting robbed before he's going back working with Mayweather. You feel me? But I'm going to link the interview into the description. Don't forget, we got the new Raw and Uncut podcast featuring the Cali Enigma and myself. Triple rated art, not for kids to hear. That link is in the description. Always check the description. Our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, a whole social media thing is there. Got links there. Take you straight there. You can follow us, subscribe, whatever it may be. Uh, also, check out our new college sports page, college uh, sports S1210 College Sports Most Wanted for all your college football and basketball needs. We're going to crank it up real, real quick as the you know, colleges get ready to go to camp and get ready to play these football games as well. And uh, also, about to hit you guys with another video, some live streams later. Uh, we definitely going to tear it up on a, on a Wednesday. And don't forget, tonight is the Smoke City Mobcast, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Smoke City Mobcast on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell uh, icon. They usually start pronto on 9 o'clock or just a little bit after it. No, just a little bit of black people time. You feel what I'm saying? So shout out to the whole LDBC. Don't forget to subscribe, share this, retweet it, like it. We gone.